Hello everyone, we are back with Skyrim Special Edition and I'm going to be making this video to show you guys how to install Rapid Bow V3, at least doing it the way that I did it, which is going to involve you having Skyrim Special Edition 1.5.97 on the Steam and you're going to need Mod Organizer 2. So if you do not use these devices, uh, the setup may not be the same and it may not work for you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to come over to here to the Mods page and we're going to scroll down to the requirements and we're going to check out the requirements and we're just going to quickly go through them. So animation motion revolution. I did download this. He tries plugins and updates. I didn't download this one. I downloaded this dynamic bow animations. This is just an animation, not a hard requirement. So I just skipped over this. I have my own bow animations, dynamic action key framework. Um, Motion recovery after attack. Okay, I guess I did download that one. Get that one. This one has this mod has a lot of requirements, as you can see. So yeah, I did get that one. Hot key skill. You for sure are going to need this one. It may not be the most mandatory, but if you want to be able to um slice enemies up with your with your dagger that you get as like your secondary weapon when they get close, you're definitely gonna want to have to get that. Immersive equipment displays. This is like a mod that I swear like almost everybody has now in their mod load order. I don't know why it's a requirement, but just get it anyway. It's a really cool mod that lets you see your equipment on your character's body. Like so, you can have, you know, your great sword, your long sword, your bow, your axe, everything showing on a single freaking character. As long as the item is favorited, you could also go into the menu and adjust the positions of these things if you want as well. Just thought I'd touch on that a little bit because it's a really amazing mod. So back down to here. Anything that says AE, I just did not touch. But this one I did get inventory interface information injector, open animation replacer, which is basically the DAR, the new improved DAR and anything that's DAR related will automatically be compatible with open animation replacer. All right. So open animation replacer IED conditions. This one I did not get this one. As you can see, yeah, I have not downloaded this. This is basically just going to give, you know, um, like some animation changes for like immersive equipment displays and dual sheets. Like so depending on like, uh, you know, different drawing sheet animations and stuff, as you can see right here, not really important. It says that it's a requirement, but it's not. And what else do we have? We have payload interpreter. I feel like everybody should have this. And then we have nemesis, which is another mod that I feel like everybody should have. Like if you use a custom animations and stuff, uh, you should definitely have this. I have made a video on how to install this. I'll try to link it in the description below. If I remember XP 32 maximum skeleton special extended, you most likely have this. If you got like, you know, girls with their boobs and stuff jiggling and stuff like that. And uh, I think this is also probably required for uh, immersive equipment displays. But this is just one of those things that you should definitely have like custom skeletons because it allows you to have like jiggle physics and then like custom animations and things like that. All right. So we're going to jump over to Mod Organizer 2 since I already have everything downloaded. OK, so in here, I basically have um, everything in like installed already but i didn't activate it okay so in order for me to make things a little bit more simplified for myself is after i install the mod if i'm installing it specifically for rapid bow what i do is i name the mod whatever it's called and then i also type in rapid bow like this this way all the mods that you know i installed specifically for rapid bow i can find them easier right here so basically all of the requirements Plus the basic things that you should already have, like Nemesis, XP32, um, Skeleton Extended, Payload Interpreter. These are things that you should already have in your game. Open Animation Replacer. Make sure you get those. After you get that, we're going to install Rapid Bow Combo V3. And then we're going to install Dynamic Key Framework NG for Rapid Bow V3. And hot key skill for rapid bow v3 all right so in the load order i'm not exactly sure where you want to put this i'm just going to grab it i'm gonna leave it pretty much at the bottom i'm gonna show you where i'm gonna put it right here i'm gonna put it right over the skeleton there you go right there at the bottom so i don't like to run loot because it will probably break my game <laughs> so 
after you have that installed, you want to go and you want to hit Nemesis, right? You want to go ahead and inst and you know run that, launch that, and in here you want to you want to first we're gonna hit Update Engine because if there's anything that we need to check and it's not showing, it will show after we update the engine. Okay, so once it is finished, you want to go to here, Payload Interpreter. Check this. I already had it checked because, like I said, it's just a mod that you should just pretty much always have active. And then right here, Hotkey Skill. You want to make sure you check this as well. Okay, now go to Launch Nemesis Behavior. Sometimes when I run Nemesis, it'll run and it'll crash halfway through. What I do is I basically just relaunch Nemesis and then run it again. Sometimes I have to run it three times before it actually uh, works. I haven't run into that problem lately because I uninstalled a bunch of um, animation mods that I just didn't even use anymore. So it's a lot more cleaned up. So as you can see, everything is finished running. And we're going to close this. And then we're basically just going to go and we're going to jump into our... Uh, our Skyrim Special Edition, but I'm going to switch over to NVIDIA from Bandicam because it's easier for me to record that way. Okay, <laughs> so after messing around a little bit, I, I don't know what the heck happened, but okay, so this is what happens, right? So you go into the MCM, right? You're going to get two MCMs that pop up. One is going to be called Hotkey something, and my computer's acting like shit right now because it's a piece of shit. So um, we're going to go right here. And we're gonna go to hot key configuration. So I didn't touch anything in here. Even though this mod was required, I didn't touch anything in here. Okay? What I did was I come over here to the second MCM that you get. Bow rapid combo. In here, I basically set my key as the same key that I use for like my power attacks for like one click power attack, which is the four key. Okay, so I I just touched that, right? That's the only thing I touched upon starting a new game. All right, so now if I press the four key, I get the attacks. Okay, there you go. Now, if I press the normal, you know, uh, what is it? Right click or left click. If I left click, I get this, you know, just normal shot. If I right click, I get these. I get like the little double shot. I think I could step to the, I could step to the, um, to the right if I do it but it's just it won't really work because I got the 360 movement so it's not really going to take effect unless I lock onto a target so if, if I hold back I could do like that little back shot like that and then um yeah Neut neutral power neutral um neutral bow hotkey thingy should give me some attacks like this right now, if I hold back and do it, I should get the drop kick. All right, I'm gonna have to freaking fight an opponent to really show this off. All right, so there goes Hajmir fighting these guys. Right, so I could do combos with the knife. Let me try this a little bit. I'm in God mode anyway. So if if I hold back and then do the attack, I get this drop kick like this. Back, drop kick. Uh, it's not coming out the way I want it to. If I, if I don't press the keys in any direction and I press the high key, I get this kick. If I hold left and do it, I'll get a spin strike. If I hold back and do it, I'll do the drop kick. It, just, it seems a little unreliable. I don't know. Maybe let me switch off my controller because I'm using X powder right now. All right, so let me. Yeah. So if I hold back and do it, I'll get the kick. Oh my goodness, this thing's. All right, so this is this is not gonna work the best if you use a controller. I'm I'm telling you right now, if you're using a controller. So if I hold back and press four, drop. Back. If I hold left, I get the spin attack. Or if I hold right. If I hold left, I'll get the same attack, but just in the left direction. If I do a neutral move, I'll just do a kick. If I hold forward into it, 
I'll be able to do like a combo. I don't know why these mages are able to take so many attacks with just wearing robes, but I don't know. That's the problems that I have in my special edition. So yeah. So I mean, yeah, it works. It just it doesn't. It just doesn't work well for a controller. Yeah, so you can slice them up. You can charge the bow down too as well. And I noticed this this tutorial is not the best, but you know what? Whatever. Nobody's probably gonna watch anyway. Because I'm 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 a Khajiit and I'm wearing moon monk robes and I'm not like a half naked, you know, lolly looking lady or whatever. So some of the basic attacks real quick. Okay, so this guy. Hold back. I'll get the back shot. Holding right. I get the step right double shot. Hold left. I get the step left double shot. Hold forward. I get like some kind of attack like that. I really don't know why these mages are so meaty. It's really bothering me. So you can hold the you can hold the shot down if you want. Dude, you're a mage. You should be dead by now. Alright, now my high key just decides it doesn't want to work. Alright, now it's working. I don't know, maybe it's a frame rate thing. I have no idea. Give me a oh my goodness, whatever. So yeah, yeah, that that's a rapid bow V3.